I do remember the, the news at the time and I remember it had a massive effect on the country. So I happened to be down there just after the tragedy and I was very aware of the atmosphere. Um, when tragedies like this happen, people should be aware of the kind of extraordinary things people do as volunteers. And that's when I read the story, I was in tears. I couldn't stop myself. You go out in the, you know, the bravest of situations when it's so, so dark, so cold. I mean, 60 foot breakers. You sort of grow to appreciate more and more the sterling work that the RNLI volunteers do. I mean, it's going to be a challenge, I think, and Alistair uh, is not shying away from that. This is going to be something that is going to be uh, a bit of a journey for all of us. It's been wonderful to see original theatre be so innovative in what they're doing. Because it's such an ensemble piece and we're all playing multiple characters, not only do you have to know your own parts, you're going to have to know probably all the other parts. And there's so many different chopping and changing of different characters, sort of almost different timelines yeah. as well. So I'm very interested to see how that all comes together. It's like, a, it's like an extraordinary kind of fusion of all kinds of different uh, mediums. There's something with it being live streamed, there's something about the, the immediacy of it. Mm. And that this is a story that naturally unfolds as live action. I think it's quite a degree of anticipation and um, expectation, hoping that we can deliver what is necessary and, and worthwhile. It's going to be quite an experience and it'll be um, a roller coaster and uh, I can't wait, I'm very excited about it.